Gaffer, first win on the road of the season, another clean sheet. You must be really pleased. I am really pleased. Um, I think we haven't won away from home for a little while and um, I think that it goes into, into last season. So it's good to get that monkey off our back. Um, the boys fully deserved their victory today. It was only 1-0, but um, I felt it could have been more. Uh, I felt we were the better team throughout. We had to um, withstand a little bit of pressure at the end and, and Paul Far Farman's played his part as well, making some excellent saves when the team needed him. So real team performance, squad performance again. Um, and we've got to keep driving forward. Um, and uh, what, three wins from four in the league, uh, five wins from six overall. So it's been an excellent start, but we've got to keep it going. And obviously, so far this season, only conceded in two games overall. You must yeah. be pleased with just how tight the boys have been at the back. Yeah, I think there's. Um, I think that look, the back four hasn't changed too much. I think Rory Feely's dipped in and out as well, but unfortunately he's injured at the moment. And, and Neo's come in, and but the other three have, have, have played the, um, predominantly the, the majority of the games. And I think there's some good partnerships building there. And um, yeah, long may that continue. So uh, to only concede two goals at this point is, is, is really, really good. Did you expect things all over the park to gel this quickly, or do you think it'll take a bit longer to kind of click? I felt I could change certain things pretty quickly, um, and uh, and thankfully uh, that has gone okay. Um, I think we do look different from probably the team from from last year. And again, I'll say it again: that's nothing against anything that's gone on last year. The team was very very close, but I wanted the team to look different, and uh, and the boys have taken to it really really well. Great group to work with. Uh, they listen to what myself and the coaches have to say uh, and, and they go to work on it and so far so good. Yeah and obviously a set piece goal today as well, some great deliveries in from the other set pieces, you must yeah. be pleased to you know, be getting goals from those kind of areas as well. Well I, it was funny yesterday we had, um, we always have a bit of fun on a Friday, we, have, we, we, uh, we sort of, um, we, we play a game where sort of the worst player gets the bar, a bar of chocolate and brings everyone a bar of chocolate for the following week um, and uh, anyway when we was having a vote, there was a bit of a, there was something going on, and that, that we ended up having a bit of a dance off. I think, I think uh, Neo and uh, Cap were seen dancing after we beat Derby in the week, and the boys wanted to see it again. A bit of a dance off, and anyway, we saw Neo somersault, and we saw Cat, which uh, I won't spoil it for you, but he's got a somersault in his locker too. So hopefully we'll see that when he scores. And we said we'd like to see it when you score a goal, Neo. And um, obviously, I'm really, really pleased for the boy to score his, um, to come here. Um, he's obviously he's. He's, it's his first full season in the game um, after coming through at Chelsea and then having a period at Huddersfield and, and, um, and we can see that he's got a great leap on him and for him to score a goal today, absolutely fantastic, really pleased for the kid. Yeah, I mean it's been great to see just how well he's been getting stuck in in men's yeah. football, you know he hasn't seen phased by it at all. No, he's, uh, look, we, we kind of knew what we were getting. The thing with Neo, he is quite slight and, and you look at him when you stand next to him you think, oh he's only small and can he cope with the, the physical side of the game. But um, but obviously uh, he, he definitely can and uh, he jumps very, very high indeed, um, but he's, he's not scared of, of putting his foot in either and, and, he, and he can move. So he's got a lot of good ingredients to help him going forward. And speaking of players on loan, a bit of deadline day business yesterday. How pleased are you to get Chris pop off in the club? Really di uh, delighted because uh, obviously uh, Chris was, uh, has come from one of my old clubs um, and, uh, and, and Ian really, really felt he was, he was, he was someone that could help us. Um, I, get, I got to watch him as well and, and, I, and I felt the same. Um, so uh, yeah, there's no doubt about it, he'll come in and, and do a good job for us. Unfortunately, um, we had a bit of an injury with, with, with Nubes. Uh, he's, he's, he's hurt his knee in training on, on Friday, so we don't know when he'll be back. He'll probably get assessed in the next couple of days. And obviously we've, we're missing with Conor, Conor Mahoney as well at the moment. Um, so it only leaves us probably with two or three wide players. So it was an important signing for us. One of those wide players, Katia, going down today. Uh, how do you think he is right now? I think he'll be okay. I think he, I think he'll be a bit bit of tiredness. I don't think he's pulled a muscle or anything like that. Um, I think it was just uh, look, the third game uh, in a week um, where he's he's probably he's only had his first start. I think it was last Saturday in a, in, in a league game. I might be wrong there. I think it is. And then he went again in the cup, and obviously to go again today, it's just been a big week for him. Um, he's been playing under twenty one football, and then to all of a sudden go and play men's football the pace is different and, and uh, so he'll just take some adapting to that and obviously emil has gone off at the end then as well uh, what do you know about that uh, again look i've only just come out of the dressing room five minutes ago it's a happy dressing room the music's on in there the boys are all delighted um, we've obviously got a we've got a journey home now where i'll speak to the medical team and they'll give me any updates that i need but i'm not fully up to date on all of it yet if i'm honest Ethan. thank you very much thanks Ethan.